Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part three of the Bake Shop Blanket series, this adorable cupcake square. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start with a foundation chain of seven in your beige color and then we're just going to half double crochet in each chain all the way down. So you'll have six half double crochets in that first row and then we're going to chain up one and in row two, we're going to start with a half double crochet increase. So that's two half double crochets in the same stitch, in that first stitch. And then we'll do four regular half double crochets. So in the next four stitches, half double crochet in each stitch. So here's the first one. Two. Three and then four and then in that very last stitch we're going to half double crochet increase again so that's just another two half double crochets in the same stitch that last stitch so there's row two chain one and turn and then we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch just regular half double crochets if you need any help with any of these types of stitches please refer back to my crochet beginner series so you'll find all kinds of help there so there's row three chain one and turn for row four we're going to half double crochet increase once again so two half double crochets in the first stitch and then we're going to half double crochet down the line so we'll have six half double crochets until we get to that last stitch so do six more regular half double crochets and then in the last stitch we'll do an increase again. So two double, half double crochets in that last stitch, chain one and turn. And then we're going to do regular half double crochets across. And this is the last row for the bottom of our cupcake. So that was quick and easy. You can go ahead and finish off here and snip your yarn. Um, you don't need to leave a long tail because we're going to use um, a different yarn for sewing things together. So you can go ahead and finish that off and then we're going to need to grab some baby pink yarn for the top of our cupcake. This is the color I used but you can use a different color for the top, whatever you like. Um, and I'm going to start with a magic ring. And once we have that magic ring I'm going to chain up two. And after we chain two we're going to do five double crochets inside the magic ring. So five double crochets here and I have all five of those in there and then we're just going to pull that tail to tighten the magic ring and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in the first double crochet not into that chain two but in the first actual top of the double crochet slip stitch it together and then we're going to chain up two once again So go ahead and chain up two. And then for this round, we're going to go ahead and do one double crochet in that first stitch right next to the chain two. So one double crochet right there. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So one in the first, two in the second, and then we'll go ahead and continue like that all the way around. So one, two, one, two, um, not quite all the way around. Um, basically for the next five stitches. So we won't stitch in that um, very last one. We'll leave that one empty because we're making a semicircle kind of shape, which here you can see what I mean by that. So we have a bit of a semicircle because we did not stitch in that last stitch. So now we're going to chain up two and to go ahead and turn our work and we're going to work back around the same way we came. We're not going to close the circle. So now we're going to, um, we chained up two, we're going to double crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch and do that all the way around as well. One, two, one, two, all the way back around and now we're going to be working in the flat part of our semicircle. So go ahead and chain one and then we're going to do four double crochets right next to that chain one working along 
the flat part of our semicircle. So there's the second double crochet, three, and four, all in the same spot. We're creating a scalloped edging here. So there's our fourth one, and then we're just going to slip stitch right next to it. You want to make things nice and close together because we're going to fit four scallops along here. So now we're going to do four double crochets in the next stitch. Don't be afraid of kind of squishing things together. We want the second scallop to still be to the right of center. So if you identify where the center of that original magic ring was, we want to be working this second scallop, the second grouping of four double crochets right next to center so that now we can slip stitch right at the center. So you can see how both of those scallops are sitting to the right of center. Now we're going to do our third scallop, our third grouping of four double crochets right to the left of center. So we've slip stitched right in the middle of that straight side of our semicircle and now we're working on the left side. So another grouping of four double crochets to make our third scallop and then we'll slip stitch um, in the next space over. So right next to where we worked those four double crochets and then we'll do one more scallop just before the edge of our work because we want to slip stitch um, right on the edge of that semicircle. So make sure that you're not working this last scallop in the edge of the semicircle because that's where we're going to slip stitch here in just a moment. And you can see me do that right after this last double crochet here. That's number four. And I slip stitch right in the edge. So it, everything lays nice and pretty. And that is the top of our cupcake. So now we're going to need to thread a tapestry needle. You can finish off that pink yarn with a nice long tail. And you need to thread a tapestry needle. We're going to position things. Um, where they barely overlap in the back. We don't need a whole lot of overlap. And then you're just going to sew things together. I just kind of sew along that scallop edging. Um, make sure everything's nice and secure. Now for the granny square portion, I used a lavender yarn and you just want to get that going and attached right at the top right corner and go ahead and chain up two. And then we're going to do two double crochets in that exact same stitch. You want to just kind of eyeball where the top right corner should be, um, kind of in between 45 degrees. So we've done two double crochets. We're going to chain three and then do three more double crochets all in that same stitch. And this is our first corner. We'll definitely do many more of those so make sure that you have that process down chain two at first two double crochets chain three and three double crochets all in the same stitch so then our first corner is done and then we'll chain one to work in the middle so we're going to go ahead and do our middle cluster of stitches right at the top center of our cupcake so we're going to do three double crochets I've skipped two stitches in between the first corner and the um, top middle bracket, but you may need to skip three depending on where you actually start off. So I'm skipping two in between, and then we need to do the second corner. So again, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets all in the same stitch, and then we can see how the top of the granny square portion is getting going. And then we're going to skip a couple more stitches and do a side bracket. So that's a cluster of three double crochets there in the side. You want to go in right about where that scallop is. So I go in right on the edge of the scallop there and do my cluster of three double crochets. And then we need to do the bottom left corner. And I go right in the corner of that um, cupcake bottom there. So then for our bottom center cluster of three double crochets, I go right in the middle of that bottom foundation chain on the cupcake. Make sure you're not going into like the second or third row of the cupcake. Make sure you're working in that foundation chain. So we're doing three double crochets there and then doing the bottom right corner, right in the corner of the cupcake bottom. And then we'll work the other side 
right in the side of the scallop on the top of the cupcake. We can see how it should be looking there, right in the side of the cupcake scallop. We're working that last side area, and then we can slip stitch together after we've done that last side. If any of this seems confusing to you and you've never made a granny square before, um, please consult my other Bake Shop Blanket series videos. I go a bit more in depth in the ice cream tutorial about how to really get this going and it's a bit more slowed down but if you've made the ice cream or the cookie um, we're following the same exact process here. So here I am starting the next uh, row and its first corner but you're going to do three rows total. So here we are with three rows just about completed. So three rounds of the granny square style to make this the same size as the cookie and the ice cream square that we have already. So we are done with the granny square portion. The only thing at this point that I'm going to add is just a little cherry on top of the cupcake. So you can go ahead and finish off with this lavender yarn or whatever color you use as the background for your granny square. If you're following all of the same um, requirements and doing them all the same way, you should have equal size squares for all of them. So now we're going to start with a magic ring in red and chain up one, and then we're just going to do six single crochets here. And this is going to make our cherry. It's very quick and easy. You really don't need a lot of yarn for this. You could probably use a really long scrap piece from something else. Um, so six single crochets and then we're just going to go ahead and tighten the tail and I left a pretty long tail there so I'm not going to need to leave a long tail when I finish off here to sew it on. I already have one going. So we're going to slip stitch it closed in that first single crochet and go ahead and snip your yarn and you're going to need to weave in that shorter end first before you sew the cherry on. So make sure you go ahead and weave in that end and then now here we are with the longer um, tail to actually sew the cherry onto our granny square. So I position it right in the center, right um, on top of the cupcake, kind of between the cupcake and the that top cluster of granny square stitches. So just go ahead and sew that on. And you can go ahead and weave in all of your other ends at this point as well. And just get all of those ends taken care of. I've kind of weaved as I go. As you can see, I don't have a lot of ends sticking out. Every time I've sewed something together or started a new color, I kind of weave the ends in as I go. So this is a pretty quick project, guys. It's really, really easy and turns out so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.